Hello everyone and welcome back for our final episode in the VX Rail deployment flexibility series. vSAN and dynamic node clusters are fantastic in the data center, but a full-size cluster can be too much for the edge. Two node clusters might fit the bill in some cases, but what about deployment cases where a minimal footprint is needed? That's where satellite nodes fit in. Satellite nodes are a low-cost way to extend compute power and VxRail automation to the edge. These singular nodes benefit from the simplicity, scalability, and automation features of VxRail management, such as lifecycle management and API scripting. They leverage a range of hardware platforms, including the VE660, VP760, VD4000, E660, E660F, and V670F platforms with all their configuration options. Satellite nodes are deployed as standalone hosts and use perk RAID controllers for local storage. Satellite nodes also save on cost by not requiring a vSAN license. Keep in mind that data and applications aren't protected from node failure with satellite node deployments. If that level of resilience is needed, consider a two-node cluster. Satellite nodes have a lower cost and footprint than two-node clusters, and some use cases include telco and 5G sites, testing or development environments, hosting legacy applications, or providing compute power at retail or remote office and branch office sites. Each satellite node is managed by a remote VxRail cluster. Let's go ahead and talk a bit more about node management. A VxRail Manager VM manages satellite nodes from a remote cluster. One VM can manage up to 500 nodes. There is a maximum latency of 200 milliseconds. As latency increases to 200 milliseconds, some operations suffer from performance degradation and aren't recommended. For example, updating multiple satellite nodes in parallel would perform more slowly. The management cluster needs to be at least a three-node cluster. This creates greater resilience for the management cluster and provides additional performance. The VxRail cluster managing the satellite nodes is the control path and can potentially manage hundreds of nodes across multiple sites. As of initial availability, a satellite node can be E660, E660F, V670F, or VD4000 platform, and can take advantage of 10 GBE, 25 GBE, and 100 GBE networking. Newer models will also be supported in the future. The PERC H755 on each node supports RAID level 0, 1, 5, 6, 10, 50, and 60 with dedicated or global hot spare disks. Standing up satellite nodes is easy. The management IP is set from the iDRAC using a supplied PowerShell script. The PERC's virtual disk can be created using either the iDRAC, PERC BIOS, the PERC CLI, or the Dell OpenManage storage management tool. Then the satellite node can be added by IP to the management folder in vCenter. Adding satellite nodes is a day two operation. So keep that in mind if the management cluster is also newly deployed. The cluster needs to be a VxRail with vSAN cluster running 7.0.300 at minimum. Six satellite nodes can be added at a time and they're entirely customer deployable. These LCM actions are driven by the VxRail managed folders object. Each folder can contain multiple satellite nodes. These folders allow update execution for up to 20 satellite nodes in parallel. An API user has the flexibility to set how many nodes they want to update in parallel. The concurrent upgrade setting has a range of 1 to 30 nodes. This setting cannot be configured from VxRail Manager. It is set to the default value of 20 nodes. Deploying nodes at edge locations carries some additional risk. For example, a drive could be stolen and data compromised. Hardware encryption helps to mitigate that risk. 
The first option for managing keys is to store the encryption key locally and share it between the iDRAC and PERC. This is a standard iDRAC feature that doesn't require any external configuration. However, the PERC in each satellite node has its own credentials and these must be customer managed. Remote key management allows customers to keep their encryption keys on a key management server, or KMS. Secure Enterprise Key Management is an iDRAC Enterprise feature. It requests the key from the KMS and then applies it through the PERC. Remote key management requires more work, but keeping encryption keys in a KMS is generally more secure than storing your keys locally. Thanks for checking out this final episode of our VxRail Deployment Flexibility Series. Satellite nodes are an excellent choice for use cases at your edge deployment sites where space is most limited. Thanks to VxRail Automation and Organized Folder-Based Organization, cluster management and maintenance continue to be highly automated and simplified. This video was produced by Dylan Jackson. Until next time, take care.